Hi guys, so I'm back with another video on the chatbot MVP that we spoke about, um, or that I put a video up about earlier today. So here was the original version. Um, and the example was just on an Instagram growth um, business. So uh, like I said, I, I designed it originally in just um, purely gray, um, because it means that you're not tricking yourself into thinking that a design is good just because you've got like a nice color scheme or like style or anything like that. So um, I designed it purely in gray to start with, and then I've now started adding like some color and styling to it. Um, the purpose of this video is just to show you that actually you don't need a completely finished design. Um, to actually get started like with building an MVP, it's really like not, not necessary. Um, so I'll just walk you through like the builder. So this is like the chatbot example on the left. Um, I've made two different variations. I think currently I prefer the bottom one, but I'm going to come up with a few more designs. Like this is an, an MVP, it's by no way a finished um, product. So yeah, to start with, it's going to say hi there. Um, and then I've also been thinking about adding, um, this wouldn't be too hard to do, but adding something that says, um, you could say hello, and it will automatically translate into the user's preferred language. Um, so on hello, that's very easy to do. Um, if you start having more complex sentences, it gets a lot harder. But for example, if someone's coming from France, it would say bonjour. Uh, if someone's coming from any like UK um, English speaking companies, uh, country, sorry, it would say hello. Um, if someone's coming from like Georgia, it would say gamma Java if in Chinese or um, Japanese, it could say like konnichiwa and yeah, so it will automatically translate in, into the user's preferred language. And we can also detect the location of the user. And so just like a little idea was to add a bit of personalization just by saying, how are things in London? Um, and yeah, and then it will say, would you like a free estimate in two minutes? Um, and if they will come back and then say, yes, please, or no, I don't want followers. Um, and then we have an auto, uh, if depending on the response that they come back with, um, we have an auto responder. So if they say yes, it will say perfect, let's get started. If, if they say no, it will say no problem. If you have a friend who may be interested, um, here's a 30% discount code that you can share with them or something like that. Um, so then we're choosing to filter um, the route that we, we want to go down. Um, so if they're not interested, then I, I haven't quite decided what to to build out here but like i said it's just an mvp so we're coming out with the most simple versions possible um then it's going to ask what is your instagram handle um and they're going to respond with their instagram and it's going to respond straight away saying can you hold for 30 seconds whilst i check everything um now this is where like it gets really interesting um so this can then be sent to a webhook um, and we could send it over to like Phantom Buster um, or Integromat or like an Instagram scraping API. It will then go onto their profile. It will scrape how many followers they have. It will scrape, um, like it, we could scrape their most recent Instagram posts. Um, we could also be really clever and take like their profile picture and attach it here whenever they're responding. Um, and yeah, so, and then it's going to say like, so you're currently at whatever follower count the scraper returns, uh, Phantom Buster returns, your content is great. And we could also add in like personalization here, like something like um, webhook.image first post. It, like, it would look something like that. And, and then it would actually input an image that we've scraped off of their Instagram profile. So as much as this is a chatbot, I mean, I'm not actually trying to position it as a human, but someone is going to think if they know it's a chatbot, they're going to think this is a really good chatbot. But depending how much personalization we can actually add add into this, um, we could make a, a like quite a convincing person because most people just aren't aware of of, of what type of stuff that you can do with this um with, with their, their data um so and then also we have like personalization so these would actually be like inputable um into any like message and there'll be like a, a, a number of other ones that can also be added um these are just some like quick examples so they can be used on on any message technically so we're pulling the location from the ip address if we have their first name um we can automatically personalize that and if we're adding like webhooks um further up the line then we can add any data that we would receive via webhooks or via apis and put it back in here 
Um, there's also going to be a number of other integrations that are further down the page. Um, so once we've sent this message as a response to them, once we've scraped their Instagram account, it's going to say, did you want to try the platform yourself for free? If they say yes, please, um, it's then going to send a button. Um, so with send, like you can choose what type of um, input you want to, to add to them um, in, into the chat. So, and this would say, um, here's a free trial for you. If we wanted to get higher click-through rates as well, we could add their first name onto the button text. Um, that would be quite an interesting thing to do. And if answer contains no, again, it's going to filter them and say, no problem, thanks for chatting with us. If your friends are interested in Instagram growth, here's a 30% coupon. Um, and this is like the builder flow. Obviously, this is just an example automation flow that I've like built out just for an Instagram business. It's not for anyone in particular. It's just my, one of my old companies used to be Instagram. So I understand like the flows and how to push people through it quite well. Um, but this would actually be the builder where at the end you can add on like different parts to your flows. You could add in a message, you could do a question, you could do a video, you could ask for a feed, uh, ask for feedback. Um, you could ask for their email address or you could collect their telephone number actions. You could send a button or like book in a demo. And then i like I sort of said before, I'm getting a lot of requests of, um, like, I think people would actually prefer a bit of a done for you solution. Whereas I prefer previously thought people wanted like a lot of flexibility. Um, so I'm thinking of adding in like power ups where we could add in like Clearbit. Um, if anyone doesn't know what Clearbit is, it will enrich an IP address and it will tell you who's looking at, at your website. Not 100% of the time, um, but maybe like a 30%, 20% match rate. Um, and it, it only works for like B2B, so it can tell you what companies and what people are looking at, at your website. But I've actually been looking at building something out like this ourselves internally, um, because Notify collects like, uh, like 4 million profiles per day we could tell you exactly who's looking at, at your website um and as we continue to build it's going to be more and more accurate um so like you could add to enrich the profile if you want to know who's looking at your website um and we could also add in like ask for um ask the user for their linkedin account and uh, just say that we want to connect on linkedin and then if they send it over we i could build out an automation that would automatically send a connection request to them from your LinkedIn account. Um, so it would be a way of automatically like building your your network on LinkedIn, which I think is um, is very interesting. Like we could also apply that across the board to like Twitter, uh, Instagram. I could get asked for people's Facebook profiles um, and and pretty much anything else. Like it wouldn't be hard to build out an automation like that. Um, and I know people are quite interested in in doing things like that. So you'd be growing your network from from your website visitors. Um, so these would be like power ups. So either like you could like build them out yourself. Um, oh, I've completely forgotten to do QuickBooks. So yeah, this is what I mean about MVPs. Um, like as I go through it more and more, I remember more and more things I want to add. Um, so let's just check that down. And yeah, so, okay, you could also do like API as well. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm just constantly coming up with new things I want to add here. Um, let's drag that down. So like the power-ups wouldn't be included in the Notifier plan um, because there, it's not tools that I'm building out. You know, we would be integrating on your behalf to, to Phantom Buster, um, or other tools like that. And obviously we need to pay a, um, a subscription with them. Um, of course, if you have your, your own account with Phantom Buster or you're using your own like automation tools, um, then like you, you wouldn't need to use the power ups because everything would be possible via the API and via webhooks. Um, so there'd be no benefit of, of using it. Um, just if people wanted like pre-built integrations, then um, I'd put it under power ups. And I think it would just be like, I don't know, probably $9 per month or something. I'm trying to keep everything quite um, quite cheap and simple. Um, so yeah, these would be like the power ups that you can add in at any section um, of, for whatever you wanted to do. And then yeah, you would go you go down to like widget settings, you can add your logo, which is going to be 
um, displayed here. Um, and you could add like a primary color, like this is just for like branding. And then we, here we can choose how to trigger it. Um, and one other thing I've just thought of as well is so like you could also do um, JavaScript triggers. So if someone clicks a button, um, it would be like, uh, what would it be? It'd be like open dot, open notifier chat bot. Um, so it would be like, it would be, uh, yeah, it would be something like that. So it would be like performing an action and, uh, we can also do like, this is something else I've thought about doing a lot recently. So if we do like URL, so, um, So that would be like a unique identifier. And if you're familiar with something like type form, yeah, it's type form. Um, you can share like a URL and someone will come directly onto your page and it will be like an interactive, um, it will be like an interactive form, which is essentially what this is. So if you like chose to share this URL, we can just position it in the center of the page. Um, it would be like something a bit like this. Uh, da, da, da. Um, yeah, so it would appear something like this. It would be like a conversational form. You could say like, yes, no, and you, okay. They have image responses. That's quite interesting. Um, so yeah, and there could just be like a lot of, that's frozen, but um, yeah, it would be something like this. It appears on the top of your page and you can survey your, um, you can get feedback from your visitors for it. So yeah, now like going back to like the point of this video, which is like discussing like an MVP. So this is like, nothing built at all this is just a design that i started on this morning um and i've put together in probably about about four hours um so like it's a very good starting point for us and rather than going to like my developers and saying i want a chatbot that can do this 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 and this i want to be able to send over to scrape instagram and and do all of these different things now i have a design it is so much easier for them just to look at it and say, okay, we need this fun functionality. We need this, this, this. And they can see everything right in front of them. They know exactly how I want it to look. And I can actually send this over to them now and they can start reviewing it and start working on functionality, um, particularly on like backend functionality on, on how to build this. Um, and I can then continue to make like adjustments like, this this is like uh, the style is done. I'm quite happy with where it is. Um, I like the functionality and everything like that. UX is simple enough to improve, but definitely um, like this is just MVP. So there are loads of other things that need doing, but I'm I'm not thinking about that at all. Now, in terms of improving the design, whilst I've pa passed this over to the developers to start um, looking at, at how how to build it. Um, I can then start going on like Dribble, um, which is a design community. And I can start looking at uh, like, yeah, things like, things like this, which is like a builder. Um, these are like editors and I can get an idea of like how I can improve the design that things that I see in other people's designs I like, that I'd like to add to to this. Um, so now I can just spend like another day whilst the developers are starting to build it, just literally just researching um, like really good similar chatbot builders and things like that. And just pull ideas um, from, yeah, from, from other people literally um, to, to build a better product. So um, I think I'll actually make a sort of a mini, mini series out of this. Um, so obviously you've seen what I've come up with. Um, you've seen my like design and the whole idea behind it and um, my like the functionality that I'd like there to be. Um, and I can, I'll then go and pass this over to the developers. I, I can even record like a bit of that conversation so you can see what it's like actually building a software platform, um, going back and forth with, with developers discussing requirements and so on. Um, and we can like get their feedback. I also encourage all of my developers to like come back with um, 
with responses. So if they come back to me and say, okay, like this is like a, quite a complex thing to do, but we can do X, Y, Z instead. Like we can shave like three days off development time by by not doing that or by doing something else in like a leaner way. Um, so yeah, I'll record a bit of going back and forward with them and also with, like we can see what, what they actually come up with. So yeah, I'll turn this into a bit of a mini series of actually me releasing a um, an actual MVP within Notify. So this is the process that I now try to do with all, um, all of our tools. Um, and in fact, I'll, I'll document the entire launch process. Um, so you'll see, like, I have like a number of different design checklists that I will, I will go through, um, just making sure that everything is, um, these are checklists that I made after reading like a lot of books on like design and psychology. Um, so I'll go over them and, and make sure that everything like fits in quite well with that. Um, and once that is done, yeah, like I'll give it to developers and like I'll do some beta testing with developers and I can open it up to, to like public if some people are interested in testing. Um, and then I can also actually document like the product launch and how it all goes, um, launching the product and, and how we actually go about marketing um, Notify. Yeah, so I think that that will be quite an interesting series. Um, cool. If anyone has any questions, any comments or anything like that, um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to get back to you. Um, if you want to get like early access to this tool, I'm happy to put a link in the, the um description and yeah we can can get you signed up thanks very much for watching